The Navy is testing its next-generation aircraft, the F-35C Lightning II, aboard USS Abraham Lincoln. One of the very fundamental tests for these pilots is simply landing and stopping on the deck of this floating city. And as research has shown, it's not always an easy thing to do. I'd heard stories that uh, during Vietnam they hooked a bunch of uh, stress sensors up to aviators and sent them out into combat. And they're checking like respiration, pulse rate, uh, blood pressure, sweating, things of that nature. And they found out that yes, being shot at in combat was pretty stressful. But the most stressful thing these aviators did was land on the carrier at nighttime. That would peg all the readings. And you may not always drop bombs, may not always be in combat, but you always have to land at the ship at night. So to help the pilots, the Navy implemented various electronic systems, such as radar, to assist them in landing. Commander Operational Test and Evaluation Force, or COMOP TEF 4, the Navy's sole operational test agency, sent out one of his contractors, along with a technician from Raytheon, to collect data on the newest system being tested called Joint Precision Approach and Landing Systems, or JPALS, which uses technology we're all familiar with, GPS. There's five sensors spread throughout the ship that collect GPS data. Um, our algorithms process it and tries to find the best solution, user position solution, or ship position solution, and it sends that uh, data out to the aircraft. And it's a one-way data link with the F-35s. The theory behind JPALS is through the use of GPS, the plane will receive a more accurate position of the ship upon approach. But that's not the only improvement JPALS can offer. One thing that's significant about JPALS is JPALS is not yet a complete replacement, but very well integrated into existing systems. So it allows us to use capabilities and strengths of the old system with the capability and new strengths of JPALS now. USS Abraham Lincoln is currently the only aircraft carrier with JPALS installed into their landing system and is currently underway conducting carrier qualifications with not only the F-35s, but with F-A-18 Super Hornets as well. Well, what works out nicely is that F-35 is also out here doing their own testing. And the results from both the JPALS test and the F-35 test goes you know, through COMOPTEV-4. Then from our admiral at COMOPTEV-4, on up to the Chief of Naval Operations, and they'll make the decision based on the test results as to whether or not they want to continue purchasing and using the systems. These types of first-hand operational tests performed by COMOP TEF-4 provide real data from the warfighters to help shape future systems. It means a lot being able to have people directly on board that, can, that you can interface with in real time instead of having to reach out, make phone calls, um, after the fact, but having them actually on board to give us feedback and or corrections for later on is a tremendous help uh, to make the JPAL's implementation progress smooth. Petty Officer Brian M. Brooks, USS Abraham Lincoln.